Assalamualaikum and uh, welcome back to my video presentation on problem-based learning. As discussed uh, in the previous uh, presentation, Novel's uh, concept of self-directed learning was uh, criticized by Hayes and Kenyon uh, as outdated. They argued that Novel's uh, concept of self-directed uh, learning only providing a linear approach uh, to learning uh, commonly found in uh, single-loop learning. Hayes and Kenyon therefore uh, propose uh, the self-determined uh, learning which is based on a heutagogical learning concept. They argue that self-determined learning goes beyond problem solving. It is a double loop learning that involves the challenging of our theories in use, our values and our assumptions rather than simply reacting to problems uh, with strategies found in uh, single loop learning. Heutagogy uh, otherwise known as a self-determined learning, is a student-centered instructional strategy that emphasizes the development of autonomy, capacity, and capability. The goal of a hutagogy is to teach lifelong learning and to produce learners who are well prepared for the complexities of today's workplace. By nature, hutagogical learning is not necessarily linear or planned but uh, much more informal and uh, parallel with how people learn best outside of school setting. The teacher serves more as a coach, a valuable resource to be tapped if necessary, but not the primary source of knowledge. Hutagogy uh, uh, is an interesting concept that uh, can have a huge impact on a student's learning. Whereas uh, pedagogy is uh, teacher-led learning and andragogy is uh, self-directed learning, hutagogy takes an approach that's different from both. In uh, pedagogical environments, teachers uh, determine what students will learn and how they will learn it. Students uh, rely on their teacher and learn topics in uh, the order in uh, which they are presented. In contrast, students in andragogical environments use the teacher as a mentor or guide but aim to find their own uh, solutions to the tasks uh, the teachers uh, set. Uh, meanwhile, the hutagogical approach encourages students to find their own problems and uh, questions to answer. Instead of uh, simply completing the tasks uh, teachers uh, assign, these students seek out areas of uncertainty and complexity in the subject they study. Teachers help by providing context to students' learning and creating opportunities for them to explore subjects fully. Hutagogy requires uh, the most uh, student maturity and the least instructor control. Pedagogy, on the other hand, is on the opposite end of the spectrum. The hutagogical approach can uh, be viewed as a progression from pedagogy to andragogy to hutagogy with the learners likewise progressing in maturity and autonomy. More mature learners require less instructor control. The overall purpose of pedagogical oriented teaching is scaffolding or teaching basic skills as a foundation for future experiences. For andragogical oriented teaching, the goal is to establish some structure so learners can be self-directed. But for hutagogical oriented teaching, the purpose is to establish an environment where learners can determine their own goals, learning paths, processes and products. The learner is at the center of the learning process rather than the teacher or the curriculum. In our, cur uh, in our current state of education, uh, there are no barriers to knowing and the skills required to be an effective learner today have changed dramatically. So with the uh, hitagogical approach, the learner evolves from passive recipient uh, to analyst and synthesizer. <clears throat> These are some of the most valuable skills for students as they interact with uh, a world in which knowledge management or curation is more valuable than access. An important concept in hitagogy is that of double loop learning. In this type of learning, uh, students not only think deeply about a problem, and the actions they have taken to solve it, but also reflect upon the problem-solving process itself. The idea is that students will begin to question the assumption and gain insight into not only what they are learning, but also how they learn. <clears throat> students uh, consider the problem and uh, the resulting action and outcomes in addition to reflecting upon the problem-solving process and how it influence, uh, influences uh, the learners' own beliefs and actions. 
Double loop learning occurs when learners are questioned and test one's personal values and assumptions as being central to enhancing learning, uh, learning how to learn. With its uh, emphasis on providing a learner-centered environment that supports students in defining their own learning paths, Qtagogy also equips uh, students with skills that will help them transition into the workforce. Employers need employees uh, to have a wide range of uh, cognitive and metacognitive skills like innovativeness, uh, creativity, self-directedness, uh, self and an understanding of how they learn all foundations of the hutagogical approach. PBR practitioners do need to go all in and uh, make their entire course uh, hutagogical. Students can benefit from uh, a few uh, session, a PBR session uh, designed in a hutagogical approach. Davis 2018 proposed uh, four essential elements to facilitate the hutagogical uh, and self-determined learning. 1. Designing a learner-defined learning contract. Uh, 2. Flexibility in the curriculum. 3. Flexibility in assessment. and 4. Highly collaborative learning. 1. Learner-defined learning contracts. During this phase, the learner and teacher work together to identify learning, uh, learning uh, needs and intended outcomes. Some important questions uh, that should be considered are uh, 1. What does uh, the learner want to learn or achieve? 2. What results uh, should we expect uh, from uh, the learning experience? 3. What specific curriculum objective are required? Learning contracts uh, help students uh, decide what they want to learn and uh, shape their own individual learning path. 2. Flexible curriculum. Uh, a hutagogical approach is uh, only possible when the curriculum is flexible and takes into consideration the learner's uh, questions motivations and how thinking shifts as a result of what they have learned. Uh, students must be able to create a curriculum for themselves that can adapt to their individual needs. Uh, they may be required to build uh, their plans based on a set of defined learning objectives, but they have uh, the freedom to identify what and how to learn. This uh, personalization can help students uh, feel empowered and encourage a greater uh, engagement. 3. Flexible and uh, negotiated assessment. Self-determined learning also means uh, students are free to determine and design their own assessments rather than undergoing a standard test. This creates uh, a less threatening environment for students and can encourage a deeper learning. The assessments uh, designed by students uh, must include uh, ways of measuring the understanding of content and skills they have acquired because at the end of the process, uh, students will be assessed to determine if the agreed upon outcomes uh, have been achieved. 4. High level of collaborative learning. Due to its independent nature, self-determined learning uh, can cause an uh, inner conflict for the learner, especially if they are not accustomed to uh, taking responsibility for their learning. One way to ease the transition uh, into self-determined learning is to encourage collaboration in the classroom. By design, a self-determined learning uh, approach uh, facilitates students working together to share knowledge and reflect uh, on their progress. Since learners are encouraged uh, to work together in person and digitally to achieve a common goal, uh, they can solve problems and reinforce their knowledge by sharing information and experiences, practice concepts and experimenting. These collaborative uh, sessions are an opportunity for students uh, to learn from each other as well as think about how they can apply their new skills in practice. Uh, Hutagogy and self-determined learning is the way forward for students learning in Education 4.0. It does not only transforming the students' learning from active to pre-active, uh, but also transforming the teacher's role from facilitators to mentors. <coughs> Uh, by definition, active learning is a uh, learning activated by uh, the teacher's teaching. It is a form of learning in which teaching strives to involve students uh, in the learning process more directly than in other methods. At another level, uh, reactive learning is a learning activated by the student's learning experience, a form of learning that is explicit but takes place uh, almost uh, spontaneously and in response to recent, current or imminent situations but without any time being specifically set aside for it. Uh, proactive learning is learning activated by active learning experience itself. 
uh, keeping an open mind, suspending judgment, questioning assumptions and seeking out information, technique and perspective and studying, practicing and contemplating in order to build one's uh, stored knowledge base, skill set and wisdom. Proactive learning uh, is a generalization of active learning uh, designed to relax unrealistic assumptions and thereby reach practical application. Uh, finally, preactive learning or self-determined learning is activated by the passion for learning. It refers to learners' initiation of the learning by planning and establishing their learning goals and objectives and uh, discovering ways and means to uh, activate the learning and achieving them. Learners uh, formulate their own learning goals, uh, select the content and style of learning, develop their learning strategy, decide on the sources, place, location, time and duration, and the learning outcomes and achievement. At teacher's level, there could be uh, three main levels of action. One, teaching or training. Two, uh, facilitating. And three, mentoring. Teaching or training involves uh, the transfer of learning from uh, one individual, usually an expert, to other individuals or a group. Facilitation is a method used to help groups uh, develop processes that are uh, effect effective in order to accomplish a desired outcome. Mentoring, on uh, the other hand, is uh, the process of a mentee uh, working along with someone, a uh, mentor, uh, to learn from them. Being a mentor is uh, to be a wise and trusted for someone acting as a guide, a teacher, a supporter, and, and an encouraging influencer to the mentee. Both self-determined learning and mentoring are two new roles in the next PBL format or version. Soon, uh, they should be uh, the main features of a PBL 4.0 or ePBL. I will be sharing on the concept of uh, ePBL and its relation with uh, Hutagogy and self-determined learning in the upcoming video presentation. Uh, till then, uh, thank you very much uh, for your time and kind attention to my presentation. Uh, viewers who are new here, please subscribe to my channel so you will get more notification on my upcoming videos. And don't forget to like and share this uh, video. Uh, if you have something to share, please leave the comment below. Have a great day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.